Gade transatus, I've come down to what they call here in Toowoomba Black Gully. And I've come here for a purpose because it's been planted out totally in gum trees. But the purpose of my visit to Black Gully is to announce the winner of the Gum Tree of the Year. Now some of you may be aware of the Gum Tree of the Year award, some may not. It's also a, a couple of months old, it was announced back in March. So every year Eucalyptus Australia has a Gum Tree of the Year award. Every year Gum Tree Australia, and I'll put a link in the description below for the website, has an online poll on Eucalyptus Day, which is the 23rd of March, asking for you to vote on your favourite gum tree. Eucalyptus Australia is the operating name for a trust, uh, and the trust is, bear with me, uh, is, a, is a Swedish, fingers crossed, Swedish bloke came over many years ago. You can read all about him again on the website and find out more about him, uh, but Bajani is how I'm going with Bajani K. Dahl Trust. So over the years he invested, made a lot of money, and when he died he left all his money in a trust to keep studying and finding out more about eucalypts and gum trees in Australia. Therefore, every year on the 23rd of March we have a eucalyptus day. On, also on the eucalyptus day they have, there's lots of things, it's turning into a, like a little festival of sorts, they have a, a photo photography competition. They also announce the winner of the award, the, the, the Bajani K. Dahl Award medal, sorry, medal to publicly recognize and reward those who have made significant or substantial contributions to eucalypts. Anyhow, drum roll please, without any further ado. And this year's winner goes to Eucalyptus regnans, also known as mountain ash, swamp gum, and stringy gum. There's a great little article here too, I don't want to read it out to you, I could, we'd be here forever. Great little article here too by the, uh, the Guardian newspaper, I'll put a link to it, and it goes on to about, uh, tell you about the tallest tree in Australia. It's also, uh, Eucalyptus regnans is the tallest flowering tree in the world. So that's uh, another feather in its cap. You'll find it a lot down in the Victorian rainforest areas, also north and southern Tasmanian rainfall, uh, rainforest areas. You all right, mate? Come on through. I've got to wait for the helicopter now. They make a racket, don't they? What are you doing? Oh, just a video for a YouTube channel I make. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Also in a hotly contested second place came the splendid and widely beloved red flowering gum, Cryombia phycofolia. The red flowering gum has had an incredible flowering season this year in its restricted endemic range in southwestern WA and along streets and gardens across Australia. Rounding out the top three is also the gorgeous Sydney red gum, uh, Angophora costata. Also known as the smooth bark apple, this species has been in top three ukes almost every year since the competition started in 2011. There you go, just a bit of fun. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, links below you if you want to find out more about firstly Eucalyptus Australia uh, and then also more about the winners, the mountain ash, red flowering gum and the Sydney red gum. Anyway, thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye for now.